This hair did not come to play today, boo. We cannot get her all in the frame. Who said you had to be in a frame though? That's my question. Welcome back, my friends. It is so great to see you again. I know things are crazy. There's a lot going on. And because of what is going on, everything has been turned upside down. People have had to pivot in ways that they never thought that they would have to pivot. I am definitely one of them. I left the career that I had for 13 years to pursue my goals and dreams and stand tall every day in every way that I can. Even though I was blessed to have the position that I had for as long as I had it, I wasn't showcasing all of the talents that God has given me. And to be honest, for a really long time, I was in a comfortable space and I also had a lot of fear. Both of those things stopped me from pursuing them and standing tall in who he created me to be. So one day I stood up for myself and I resigned. Would you guys like to see a video on that? There are a lot of things I could talk about, let me tell you. But this video is about a way that I've had to pivot and a lot of people have had to pivot in this time of quarantine. It has been a very different landscape and different time for people who are in the acting field. I am new to the field. I definitely respect the amount of work and the craft that goes into it. I know that I have a lot of work to do, but it's something that I've always wanted to do. And it's something that I have pursued within the last two years that I have been out on my own. I have definitely auditioned more than I have landed jobs, but that comes with it. If you want to be an actor, that is something that you are going to have to do continually. But for me, as somebody who is new to this, every audition teaches me something. Every audition is getting me ready for whatever God wants me to do with acting. I have no idea what that is, but I'm gonna keep pursuing it until he tells me otherwise. And so when it comes to the time that we're in and acting, for months and months, people have had to self-tape. I personally have done 14 self-tapes within the time of quarantine. And that's probably not even a lot. I'm new, I'm putting in castings for myself. I don't have an agent. This is me literally submitting for myself and getting self-tape auditions. And so today what I wanted to do is number one, show you one of my self-tapes, which is very scary because <laughs> It's probably not that good. Like I said, I'm new to the space, but I still wanted to show you what I've been doing, where I'm at, and we'll grow with this thing together along the way. But first I wanna show you what I do for self-tapes. Literally, it's what you're seeing right here. I set up a studio in my small apartment in the Bay, which I'm thankful for. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what that looks like. Okay, so we are in my living room. This pillow configuration right here is something we will talk about in a future video. Anyways, this is my living room. I took all those pictures in Cuba, ow. And here is my studio setup. These chairs are from my dining room table. I have the tripod, usually my phone, cause I shoot everything on my phone, but I'm shooting in my hand right now, is on the tripod. This little clip right here holds your phone and I got that from the 99 cent store when I went to stores. And then I have this light kit that I got on Amazon. It has seen better days. We are holding her up with tape, but you know what, she still works. And until the moment she does not work, we will be using her up. We are not wasting anything around here, especially money, boo. My friends, Alina and Ramy are amazing and they've given me a lot of equipment to use during this time. So this backdrop and photo paper are from them. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to the old school heater. It takes quite a while, but it's completely worth it. And as you can see, I do shoot a lot of my YouTube videos in here too. So yeah, that's the setup. Let me get this right. Lock her in, fluff the hair, you know. Another thing that's really key in these videos for me is the whole microphone situation. iPhones do have good microphones and if you're using some other camera, they can have really good internal microphones as well. But for me, one of the best investments that I've made is this mic. So I'm gonna, I'm, hopefully I don't, I'm hopefully I'm taking it out right now. It's a sure mic, but it has the, there, focus, fo oh, I have that lock thing on. Y'all see it though, you know what it is. It's the iPhone port. So it just connects right into your iPhone. And I personally think that it makes it sound better. I guess we'll see with this video because it's not plugged in right now. So 
If it sounds the same, then I've been using it for no reason. I set this up every single time that I do a self-tape video. The one that you're going to see was very much all around my house because the scenes required different environments. And so that's what I did. And then just like these videos, I put them together based on what the casting director wants and needs. And then I send them off. And one thing, if there's a silver lining to any of this, I probably got to be in front of more people than I even would be able to in a normal circumstance. I think with self-tape auditions, they just wanted as many as they could get. And so I probably got chances that I wouldn't have normally received if we were just auditioning in the way that I had been auditioning, you know, going and literally auditioning in person. There were times where I got auditions the night before and I would have to get in my car, drive to LA, go to the audition and drive right back. Obviously for financial reasons, last minute tickets are crazy. Then also just like the timing, you get it late night on a Thursday and have to be there early on a Friday. So I would just get in my car and smash out. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I'm going to show you an audition that I did for a company. The role was ladies night. When you get an audition, they tell you exactly what you need and you have to execute it to the T and submit exactly what they want. And in this case, they just wanted to see a virtual ladies night going from virtual work to virtual play at night with your friends. So when they said it was a ladies night, I don't drink. I have never drank a drop of alcohol in my life. That's also something I could do a video if you guys want to know about that. There's actually quite a deep story behind that. I was like, what am I going to do for the wine part? So I just took some Crystal Light and I straight mixed that up and made some wine. Y'all probably looking at it like that's Crystal Light. <laughs> but to me, it, it looked like wine. I don't know. I did my best. It's the fruit punch flavor. You know, the old school. Crystal Light's still hitting to me. I don't know. And this is what I submitted. I, I know we have three more meetings today. Yeah, I look forward to all three of them. Yep. If I get one more Zoom link. <laughs> what time? Oh, I need to get ready. Yes, I can't wait. I've been missing my girls. Girl, it has been a day. Ladies, every time we say Corona, we gotta take a drink, okay? As soon as we were on lockdown, my DMs filled all the way up. <laughs> you know Carol fed that man to the tigers. Did y'all throw your kids out yet? I see you with that homeschool girl. I'm praying for you. You know, I got some things. I got some things I'm working on, a little virtual day. I needed this girl's night. So that was actually a really vulnerable space for me. I can't believe that I showed that to everybody. But to be honest, I'm tired of this whole fear thing. I'm worrying about what people think about you. I'm just gonna put it out there. I am who I am. I'm at where I'm at. And I don't wanna hold back anything. Working on it, baby. We are working on it. And I'm just glad that you are there to be with me on this journey. Whatever may come of it. No matter what it looks like to the world, I know that I'm doing what's right for me and I will continue to walk in it with you. And one of the ways that we can support each other in this crazy journey of life is connection. So make sure that you subscribe. This month, I have a goal of getting 5,000 subscribers. Thank you for being one of them and please share so we can just all share together. I'm trying to share with everybody. Until next time, I will probably be self-taping because that has become my life, apparently. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Who am I? Who winks like that?